What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today our main focus will be the V-posts and the lower door sills. We want to get the dents out, we want to get it filled up, we want to prime them and get them ready for paint. But before we do that, we're going to move to the front of the car, get the pins and get the screws into the rad pack, get that finally finished off and uh, get the reservoir filled with antifreeze, start the engine, let the antifreeze run through the system. Once that's all done, we're going to focus on the V-post and the lower door sills and get them ready for paint. So guys, we just installed the screws for the AC pipes, you can see, we've got both the pins in as well. Now we're going to pour in some antifreeze into the reservoir. Once we've done this, we're going to move on to the side of the car, get the doors off, hopefully work on the B post, get the dents out, uh, get it filled in, get it ready for paint. So yeah, let's just uh, get this antifreeze in. Guys, so the antifreeze is in and uh, there's no signs of leaks as you can see. Uh, so we're just going to start the car now, hopefully that will send the, uh, the antifreeze through the system and uh, yeah, hopefully no leaks. So guys, we put coolant in there, we'll start up the car and let the coolant run through and uh, we'll start bleeding after. Guys, so it looks like the, uh, the battery is dead. So we're going to get the booster on, hopefully charge it up and then uh, try again. So guys, the boosters are in, let's start the car. No, the battery's still dead. Yeah. Do you want to put another booster on? Yeah, put another one. Guys, so the battery's completely dead. It's not starting at all. We're going to try putting another booster on. Yeah, what we'll do is we'll put the uh, big booster on direct onto the battery, then hopefully we should start. Guys, so we've got both boosters on. Let's see if the car starts now. <sighs> Finally got it started. Now we can do some work. So guys, the cooler is a bit low. We'll top it up. We'll, we will need to add more uh, as the cooler gets faster around the engine. So guys, as, as you can see here now, we are bleeding the system. You can see the bubbles coming out. That means there's still air inside the system. We'll uh, let all the air come out, then we'll put the cap back on. As you can see now, there are no air bubbles in the system now. We will put the cap back on and run the system. I'll wait for it and bleed it again. So guys, we just uh, bled the system now. The fans, the car is off and the fans are still on. Uh, they're still cooling down the system. Uh, we'll start working on the B post and the lower sill. So guys, what we'll be doing now is we'll get the two doors off, we'll get the lower skirt off.
guys, so we've just taken off the plastic panel and uh, underneath you discovered a bit of damage. As you can see here, there is a bit of a bulge. Looks like it's uh, gone in from the side and popped out from the top. So we will be taking care of that as well now. Yeah, what we'll have to do is um, pop that out from there and push that in. Right, so we marked off all the areas that need to be pulled and uh, pushed in as you can see so what we're going to do now is basically linish all the marks uh, marked areas uh, get them pulled uh, in this case here there's a massive dent there we can get that pulled out and the massive bulge here we can get that pushed in so yeah so the next step is basically to get all these dents out we're going to put the uh, fire blanket inside the car just to cover the seats we don't want to get any dirt or damage on the seats yeah we don't want to cause so, yeah. a fire so we'll be on the safe side put this in well, uh, yeah, all these will cover it up and uh, we'll start working out from there. So yeah, let's get started. Guys, so we got the uh, fire blanket on. Uh, the next step is to start linishing all these uh, dotted areas Looking pretty good now. Yeah, so uh, we've finished off with the uh, filler, but before we do that, we'll uh, finish off the other side. So now we can start getting ready for filler work. After the filler work's been done, we can start getting ready for primer.
continue to do the uh, low dorsal. So he's doing the filler work. He's getting the shape back right now. So as he's doing that, I'm gonna move on to the front of the car. Guys, so I'm gonna install the uh, crash bar and uh, get the lower uh, headlight bracket uh, screws in as well. So the crash bars in and the lower headlight uh, brackets have been uh, screwed in as well. Now that we're done this side, let's check up on the Z. Guys, he looks really busy right now. I'm gonna leave him to it, but the shape is coming out really good. So uh, let's check out the parts that we just ordered. We have the replacement lower door sill. If you remember, the other one was cracked, so we've got another one now. That's the lower grill for the driver side. And we have the main grill as well. As you can see guys, it's brand new. And it's all glass back as well. This outer rib normally you can get that in a uh, silver color. But this one's all black. So it gives it an even better look. So you got the RS6 badge. So yeah, so that's for the tailgate. So yeah guys, for now I'm gonna, I'm gonna pack this back up and uh, yeah, we'll go back to Z and we'll see how he's getting on. How's it looking? Yeah, it's looking all right. Just gonna pan wipe it down then uh, put the last coat of uh, fine filler on it, fill up all these pinholes and also start getting this shape right as well. So on the last coat, uh, we'll line it up and get rid of the pinholes and that will be ready. Hope for primer, then we could uh, move on to the B post. Yeah, it's looking good so far. It's coming out really well. So once he's done that, guys, he's gonna move straight onto the B post. There's a fair bit to do on the B post because you got this low half that needs a lot of work doing. So now that the uh, final coat of uh, finishing filler is on now, we will let that set once it's dried, we'll start shaping it up, getting the line down here. Also it's got like a faded line, so yeah, we'll have to like fade it out because it is quite sharp. And also there's a line start that starts from here and runs along down to the other side, so we'll have to uh, recreate these lines as well. So while Z finishes off the filler work guys, we're going to put a wrap for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. And uh, if you guys want to see any modifications to this car, let us know. And we will take them on board. We might actually do the modifications. So let us know what you want to see in this car. Uh, yeah, anyway guys, we'll see you on the next video.